You gotta let go of that stuff from the past, because it just doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is what you choose to be now. Ever wondered why past pain seems to weigh so heavily on your present? It's a question that's probably crossed your mind, and you're certainly not alone in pondering it. Let's delve into the depths of this concept, past pain. It's not just an old wound that's healed over, leaving a faint scar as a reminder. No, past pain is more than that. It's an intricate tapestry woven from threads of our experiences, emotions and thoughts. It's something that can shape us, mold us and at times hold us back. Psychologically speaking, there are several reasons why past pain tends to linger. For starters, there's trauma. Trauma is like a shadow, always there, subtly influencing our decisions and reactions. It's a deep-seated wound that doesn't easily heal, and its presence can cast a long, dark shadow over our present. Then there's regret. Ah, regret. The nagging thought of what could have been if only we'd done something differently. It's a constant reminder of missed opportunities and lost chances, and it's a powerful force that can keep us tethered to our past. And let's not forget unresolved issues. They are like open-ended stories, leaving us in a state of suspense, unable to move forward until we find closure. But it's not just about psychology. Emotionally, past pain carries a heavy weight, too. Fear, for instance, can bind us to our past pain. It's the fear of experiencing that same hurt again that makes us wary, cautious, and sometimes unable to move on. Resentment, too, adds to the weight. It's a bitter pill to swallow, and it can poison our present by keeping us focused on past injustices. And then... There's sadness, a melancholy that clings to past pain, amplifying its impact and making it feel all the more poignant. Pain from the past isn't just a memory, it's a profound emotional and psychological burden we carry. A burden that can be heavy, yes, but also a burden that can be lightened, managed and ultimately used for growth. But that, my friends, is a story for another time. If you're enjoying the video so far, then a sub to the channel would be appreciated. So how can we lighten this load? How can we heal from past pain? Healing from past pain begins with acknowledging it. It's not about ignoring or suppressing the pain, but rather recognizing its existence. This step is crucial because it validates our feelings and experiences, and it allows us to begin the process of understanding where the pain stems from. The next step is to understand the roots of our pain. This can be a complex process as it often involves delving into past experiences that we may not feel comfortable revisiting. However, it's important to remember that understanding is not about reliving or dwelling in the past, but about gaining insight into our reactions and behaviors. At times, we may find this process overwhelming, and that's perfectly okay. It's in these moments that seeking professional help, such as therapy or counseling, can be incredibly beneficial. These professionals can guide us through our journey, providing tools and strategies to cope and heal. Moreover, self-care plays a pivotal role in healing. It's about nourishing our bodies, minds and souls, and creating an environment where healing can take place. Forgiveness, too, is a powerful tool. It doesn't mean forgetting or excusing the past, but releasing the hold it has over us. And let's not forget the power of positive affirmations. Reminding ourselves of our worth, of our resilience, and of our ability to heal can make a world of difference. What is that past pain that you successfully healed from, or what is that pain you're currently healing from? We'd like to hear it in the comment section. Healing isn't a destination but a journey, one that requires patience, understanding, and self-love. But wait, should we completely let go of past pain? Is there any value in holding on to it? It might sound counterintuitive, but yes, there can be value in holding on to past pain, not in a way that keeps us stuck or in constant suffering, but rather as a tool for growth and understanding. First, let's consider past pain as a learning experience. It's like fire. It can burn, but it can also forge. When we reflect on our past pain, we're given the opportunity to understand our experiences better. It allows us to see what went wrong, what we could have done differently, and how we can avoid similar situations in the future. As they say, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. This strength isn't just physical, it's emotional and mental resilience, built up like layers of armor from lessons learned. Secondly, past pain can foster empathy and compassion. When we've been through the ringer ourselves, we become more attuned to the suffering of others. We understand their struggles because we've been there. We've felt that this shared experience of pain allows us to connect with others on a deeper level, to offer comfort and to extend a helping hand. So. 
Past pain, it's not just a ghost that haunts us, it's a teacher, a guide, a bridge to others. Past pain, when understood and managed, can be transformed into a catalyst for personal growth and empathy. Thanks for watching. Remember to hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss when we post more amazing content.